Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Luciano. This is a response for Matt Houston from France Cola Gladiatoria. Uh, he made a video about serrated blades uh, in swords and he showed a, a serrated toolbar in a museum and I would like to talk a little more about this kind of sword uh, with, with this very different shape of blade. Matt showed that serrated tower and in Japan uh, something very similar uh, occurs with the Japanese swords. You have a, a, a wakzashi or a katana with a serrated blade. This kind of serrated blade katana or wakzashi is called shikoro gatana. Shikoro means saw and gatana uh, is the word for blade. Uh, so why the Japanese would turn a uh, wakzashi or a uh, katana into a saw? I believe it was most used by ninja to invade some fortifications. In some castles you can find uh, a wooden obstacle called shinobi gaeshi uh, which was placed uh, exactly on the edge between the, the, the rock wall of the castle and the, the floor of the, the, the castle where you can have the, the windows and access to the roof of the, the castle. This kind of wood uh, fence on the wall was placed to difficult the invasion of the castle and the ninjas uh, would use some saws to cut uh, this wood and to reinforce the, this kind of obstacle made, most of them had uh, steel plates to reinforce the wood but if you have a saw and, it, and if the wood, the wood is not uh, entirely covered by the the steel plates, you can cut the wood and after this bend the, the iron plate and uh, get access to the roof of the castle for example. And of course this kind of wood fence on windows was very cheap, easy to install and it was very common on houses from Japan. You need a saw to cut the wood to invade a castle or a house. So, as a peasant, uh, you could carry some tools like a saw uh, without uh, uh, raising the suspicions uh, over you, but you could not carry swords or any kind of weapon. And if you were disguised as a Ronin uh, walking by, uh, you could be carrying uh, some kind of weapon such as a uh, wakizashi and even a uh, katana but if you are running uh, were caught uh, near the castle or uh, the house uh, carrying a saw <laughs> it uh, would be very strange one solution could be to carry a small saw a small Japanese saw uh, that have the, the size of a knife for example this this knife have uh, some serrations on the blade, but it will take uh, eternity to cut a piece of wood this, with this size. And if you need to cut two or three pieces of wood similar than this, uh, with a small saw uh, such as this knife, for example, uh, the invasion will get even even slower, and the risk of being caught trying to hack this uh, wood obstacle will grow too much. So the Shikoro Gatana uh, could be a solution to carry a very large saw to destroy this kind of obstacle and invade a, a castle or a house. What you need to do is to take a normal sword, a katana or a wakizashi, made it was rusted, it was already raining uh, as a sword and you modify the blade uh, cutting the, the edge and transforming it into a saw and you have a very large saw to cut this wood obstacle and if other people are getting nearby all you need to do is return the sword to the scabbard and the saw is hidden from uh, maybe the samurai doing the guard on this area 
Oh, there is some information. You can find some serrated blade swords even in Japan as the form of the Shikoro Gatana. Well, if you're not a subscriber from my channel, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free uh, to leave it on the comments below. Uh, and share this video with your friends. Well, I hope you liked this video and I see you later.